Hi everyone, this is CC Tribe of Issachar. I love you guys. Um, of course, I always say that. I love you bunches. But um, so I'm going to be going over memory gems, and I made a PowerPoint for this. This was a while ago though that I made this PowerPoint, and I just never shared it. So let's go ahead and, and begin for memory gem one, which is um, the Beatitudes. And we're going to go into Matthew chapter 5, uh, verses 3 through 12. Um, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they should be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Yahuwah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of Yahuwah. Memory Gem 1 continued. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute, sorry, and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. I'm going to read some precepts to you as well. Uh, you remember that we're supposed to be reading uh, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. First precept is Luke 6, 20 and 23. Then he lifted up his eyes towards his disciples and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of Yahuwah. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you shall be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you, and revile you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, for indeed your reward is great in heaven, for in like manner their fathers did to the prophets. Second Precept, Isaiah 61, verses 2 and 3. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of Yahuwah, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that may be glorified. Psalm 37 and 11, But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Isaiah 55, 1 and 65, 13. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters and you have no money. Come buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Psalm 41 and 1. Blessed is he who considers the poor, the Lord will deliver him in times of trouble. Psalm 15 and 2. He who walks uprightly and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart, his or her heart. 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. For a light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 1 Peter 4 and 14. If you are a reproach for the name of Yahushua, blessed are you for the spirit of, of glory and of Yahuwah's rest upon you. On their part, he is blasphemed, but on your part, Yahuwah is glorified. Let's talk a little bit about repentance, which is memory gem two. I will be making another um, PowerPoint. If you guys like this, Give me a thumbs up and comment and let me know if you want me to make a second part to this. I will continue to do the memory gems. Um, Luke 24 and 47. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached 
and his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Precepts Daniel 9 and 24 Seventy weeks are determined for your people and your holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, for, sorry, for iniquity, to bring everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint, and to anoint the most holy. Acts 13 and 38. Therefore, let it be known to you, brethren, that through this man is preached to you the forgiveness of sins. Psalms 22 and 27. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to Yahuwah, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. Jeremiah 31 and 34. No more shall every man teach his neighbor, and every man his neighbor, saying, Know Yahuwah, for they all shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them, says Yahuwah, for I will forgive their iniquity and their sin. I will, I will remember no more. Micah 4 and 2. Many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Most High, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, and we shall walk in his paths. For out of Zion the law shall go forth, and the word of Yahuwah from Jerusalem. All right, people, I hope this was um, enlightening. Um, if you guys remember, if you guys want more, just let me know. Um, make sure you give a, a thumbs up and follow or subscribe. Um, if, if any of my videos have given you any kind of um, I don't know, I don't know what word I'm trying to say, but if it's helped you in any kind of way, and I appreciate all the love. Um, I, I'm always really quick to respond when people comment and things like that. So if you have any questions for me, just let me know. Um, I will be putting up um, videos of making my products, um, and I think I will start that this weekend. So um, stay tuned for those, and that's going to be part of my creative list, um, as well as um, finding time to do my painting. I can't sit there and do long paintings because I'm pregnant, but I will... I think we, we can we can work something out where I can we can just do a, a nice little I'll show you how I paint I'll probably speed up the video or something I don't know well just let me know give me a thumbs up let me know if you're liking this content and I'll keep it coming I love you guys